Many people on the East Coast felt the recent 4.8 magnitude earthquake in New Jersey. In fact, it was even registered all the way over here in Butte, Montana on this seismograph on the campus of Montana Tech. Large East Coast earthquakes are rare, but when they happen, it really shakes people up. Sure, many of them are because it's an unusual occurrence and it probably caught everybody by surprise. The quake's epicenter was in central New Jersey, about 40 miles west of New York City, early on April 5th. There was no major damage reported from the quake, but it was felt by millions along the East Coast. This earthquake goes to prove that nowhere is completely immune from the possibility of earthquakes. Mike Stickney, the director of earthquake studies at Montana Tech, said seismic activity is very common in Montana and the western United States. Though quakes are rare on the east coast, they could be devastating due to the dense population. You can have a magnitude 8 earthquake and if there's nobody and no buildings anywhere in sight, it's not going to affect anybody but you have that same earthquake in a populated area and it's a, it's a disaster. The New Jersey quake registered on the Montana Tech seismograph in Butte more than 2,200 miles away. The Butte seismograph was built in 1936 and is the oldest continually used seismograph in the state. Montana has had a significant history of large earthquakes, including the 1925 6.6 .6 magnitude quake north of Three Forks. In 1935, there were two 6 magnitude quakes near Helena that damaged 60% of the buildings. And the 1959 7.3 magnitude quake at Hebgen Lake that killed 29 people. In Butte, John Amy, MTN News.